century superhuman now 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 is the time little did we know when we moved to small villages in mexico that there was a huge animal population problem cats dogs strays street animals yep and the old way of taking care of them is to just dispose of the puppies and the kittens when they're born it's hard but they toss them abandon them other things that are just un unmentionable <laughs> right but and you get the idea yeah it's very difficult so people like us and other expats down here expats spend time putting together animal spay neuter programs so we have done that but we also walked into our local little convenience store the other day yep. and one of the ladies who worked there riding on a motorcycle with her husband on the way to work had seen some little animals crawling out of a trash heap right she thought they were rats or mice at first right but once they realized it were kittens they got out and looked around and found four of them Right. So when we went into the little store in a little box where these teeny kittens with eyes unopened, uh, they didn't have any umbilical cords. So that means they were a few days old by then, but just eyes still closed. So teeny. Yeah. And I took one look at them at those are newborn kittens. I mean, I just, it was like one look. Oh my gosh. My those heart are newborn melted kittens. and my mental side said, Oh no, we can't do that right but that lasted for about a second and you know she brought them to the store hoping that somebody would take them home and take care of them and we were that somebody yeah so we have kittens in the house right so it's been amazing first of all we had a syringe at home and it was for some other uses but it had been unopened so we used that to, we started feeding them more milk with that and then um we were able to pick up a, a few of the little kind of baby bottles for puppies right. and kittens at the at the vet and the vet told us it was better if we didn't have kitten formula it was better to use non-lactose milk and we've now learned non-lactose milk diluted 50 percent with water so that it's not quite so hard for their little systems to digest right. and so we've been bottle feeding them for almost two weeks now I, I didn't even know that well that they we had to teach them to eat right and and then teach them to pee right and poop yeah I didn't know you know because the lady at the store even mentioned it and I was glad she did right to to stimulate their their little beepers and their little poopers to right. to teach them to go and we're still doing that yeah this so, is after a few weeks now so we had to use a little cloth to rub their bottom <laughs> and rub their butt and um because that's what the mama does and so we're kind right. of being baby kittens mamas and, and i um, looked online and saw where the lady uses a toothbrush to I make it feel that. like the uh the licking of the mama i love and that i like doing that too and they do they do feel comfort from that I can right tell. so we watched a lot of kitten videos online <laughs> the lady at the store was so excited that the kittens were actually still alive when we've gone back in there because none well, of us knew at the beginning if they would even survive that's the experience of, of saving kittens rescue puppies as well the risk is the first 24 hours at home right. really just don't know if they'll make it or not yeah. and uh, and they did and they're doing well and they have little fat little tummies and they squeak like like crazy and very it's amazing how loud they can squeak right but they're it's very very nice very so pleasing they're really fun to feed and to nurture they sleep a lot i mean these are still sleeping 12 hours at night they sleep all night yeah they sleep eight hours in the day so we're feeding them three to four times per day in a 24-hour period we're helping i'm glad there's two of us too yes for four <laughs> kittens <laughs> talk about herding cats yeah it's uh, it's true it's really a commitment and then we would like to get them spayed and neutered when they're bigger Usually our rule has been about six months, but it might be a little less than that, maybe four months. And then we'd like to find homes for them and preferably two going together so that they're not alone. Yes, that's right. About not not adopt or two adopt kittens in pairs, because that way they always have a, a playmate and a buddy and, and they learn from each other and practice on each other, their hunting skills and all this stuff. Right. But just doing our part is important. I feel that... Uh, to do my puzzle piece, to, to play my part. And, uh, and when is that going to happen? Am I going right. to plan it? Is it just right. going to be there? 
well and we'll we're see. doing what's in front time, of us that's right and that's what really is the purpose of all this so, and as we each take care of our own puzzle piece the world will become whole yes so we actually have run spay and neuter programs and education programs local education programs for about for several years now and done multiple programs often 40 to 50 animals spayed and neutered in a day dogs and cats and so we have a link on our website if you'd like to donate it can really help solve some of this problem it goes directly right into the projects there's no middle person in between and now you've arranged it where it can be tax deductible yes and if you can give even ten dollars a month or fifteen dollars a month and that can just come regularly um, if we have a number of those that really can help make the clinics happen so and it'll go we'd straight like to, to the animal care absolutely yeah, we'd like to save these beautiful little beings from having to you know die when they come into the world that's just an old old way of doing it and we wish we were in star trek where we could just give the air shot and it would be done but for right now we're doing the best that we know how. doing what we can yeah it's all good and if you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are Please don't frown, you can choose a new vibration and these words can take you far. I am a 21st century superhuman, and I know that the answers are inside. I am a 21st century superhuman, now, now, now is the time.